Welcome back to Eye of the Beholder 3. This is the final level of the game, the fourth level of uh, the Thander's Temple. The sign here says, Against these gates neither stealth nor sword nor prayer shall prevail. We can, however, cast the Dispel Magic spell. So let's use that and uh, quickly start making some hammers because we're going to get attacked here by these uh, these wolves. And I don't think we got hit once. Okay, so let's have a look to the south, first of all. Uh, we do have these Death Knights here. They can cast Fireballs, uh, but they're pretty weak as well. So they're pretty easy to take out. Just over here to the west, there's a trapped room. If we move to the center, there's all of these Ice Storms, which is almost instant death if you get caught in the middle of them. I'm going to try and use the flesh to stone and see if I can turn one of these creatures to stone. Uh, first off, let's head to the south. There is another throwing hammer here. I think it's a hammer plus three. So it's actually better than the spiritual hammers. Um, okay, so I need a crystal key there. Let's head up to the north. First of all, and just see what I can find here. Um, just over here we've got uh, a Mage Scroll of Fireball, I'll hang on to that, and then another Crystal Key. I will need three of them before the uh, end of the level. Oh, there's the Fireball. Maybe I should use protection from fire or something. Disintegrate, I don't really need that. I will grab the coin though. lost my way here okay so that's the doors leading to the west this is the trapped room just wait for the ice storms to go past and now head down to the south I'm going to use the coin and throw it in the uh, the fountain here when I do that some of these Shadow Hounds will appear. And also the third crystal key. I guess I'll just hang on to this one. And uh, let's open this. Aha, we turned it to stone. <laughs> And now if we bash it, we should be able to um, turn it to dust. I'd like to do that to a whole party of them, but that's okay. Come on. It's not working. No, it didn't work. It worked once at least, so I did get to see what it looked like to turn one of these creatures to stone. Wait. 
Okay, so let's have a look around here. There's the water in the basin, which carries a blessing, which is great. I think there's another one here to the north as well. The blessing only lasts as long as we don't attack anyone. So it's probably disappeared already. I just want to see if these guys throw the fireball. Oh, they're dead already. Um, over here we have the Sun Mask, shield plus three. Charlie can carry that for now, but we'll need that a little bit later. And uh, first off, I'm just gonna clear the path to the north. There's a lot of these creatures, aren't there? I wonder if they're immune to cold. Killed them all in a single shot. Okay, so we need to use another crystal key here to open this door. And we can't actually get through because we need to be purified first, which means I need to head back to the basin that we saw earlier. go we get purified again then we should be able to get into that room as long as I don't have to fight anyone else along the way and uh, here we have the, uh, the staff of life Okay, I'm just going to head all the way down to the south. And then across to the east. And this is where we use the third crystal key. More of these little shadow hounds. They haven't managed to do too much damage to our party. So I'm not too worried about them. Let's just finish them off. Oh, there is a lot of them though. I wonder if I can use Acid Storm. See if that works. Killed a couple of them. So this is where the corruption is coming from. This is the, uh, the source of the corruption here on the wall. And uh, we can remove it by using the Staff of Life. And uh, now that the corruption has been removed, we can go back to the, the temple area. If I can find my way back there. And uh, we'll see that uh, this wall has been opened and a door has been placed here. And there's a, a slot on the door which looks like it fits the sun mask. So I'm going to place that on there. And uh, opening the door reveals a teleporter. This will take us to the final battle with the Dark God. So I want to make sure I'm ready. It's a good spot to save the game as well. Let's have a look at Charlie and see if she has some good spells left. I really want time stop. How many of those do I have? I wonder if she can learn time stop. I'm going to save the game and have a rest first of all. But let's see if she can memorize time stop. Where is that? True seeing. No, she doesn't have any level 7 spells or level 8. Where's Time Stop? I thought she memorized it. Maybe she didn't. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing Time Stop here, but I'm not going to memorize it. I will use it because I've only got one of those left. Okay, back to the hammers. There are some different spells. Uh, hmm. I 
think she may need to be on the front line for that though. It's a little bit of a hassle using uh, Tisha's spell. So I think I'm just going to go with the hammers again. It's worked so far up until now. Maybe cast Ada on Delmare and Ragnar as well. Uh, and as soon as I get in there I can use Time Stop. Let's cast Aid on Delmere and Ragnar. And get him ready with... Well, I could use Haste, couldn't I? Could give him a potion of speed. Uh, first of all. And then get him ready with... Uh, does he have a healing potion? Invisibility? Healing, let's get him ready with a, a potion of, of healing there as well, in case he needs it. And I think we are good to go. Welcome, fabled heroes of Waterdeep. Is my allowing you to live to see the conquest of the city not reward enough? I hired you fools to distract out Welland. I didn't actually think that you would defeat him. Perhaps age has finally taken its toll on that old fool. Now that Mithranor's last protector and guardian is dead, I may take what I have coveted for so long. You do not know the power in which you intend to challenge. Did you actually think that you can take a go on a god? Take them! Let's quickly use time stop. And uh, take out as many of these creatures as I can. Are there still more of them? There are still more, so let's take out... Well, he's doing a bit of damage to us. Whew, we got him. My friends, you have done it. You have saved Mithrinor, and thus this world from the wrath of this dark power. As we speak, other powers are at work to ensure that this vile entity shall never wreak his havoc again in this plane of existence. If the Dark God had any more time, there is no telling how many of his shadow creatures would have come through the gate. Do not fret over the death of Ark Wellen. His task is done here. It is time for the living to protect what is right and just. Well met, heroes. Let us be the first to congratulate and thank you for what you have done here today, for all life. For your courageous and valiant deeds, we, the Knights of Mithrinor, offer you membership into our company. Who knows, perhaps this is the first step to rebuilding Mithrinor, the symbol of peace and harmony from a time long past. And that is the end of I Have the Beholder 3 and the end of this series. It was an interesting end to the series. It was a little bit different from the first two games, but it was still fun to play nonetheless. The sound effects were a little bit odd, <laughs> and, and so were the puzzles actually. Some of the puzzles were a little bit strange, such as the ones where your entire inventory uh, everything that had metal in it was cast aside and thrown on the ground. But uh, in spite of all of that, I still enjoyed this uh, this playthrough. And it is uh, a fun game to play if you are a fan of the Eye of the Beholder series. And here we have the Knights of Mithranor. The heroes have now been knighted. Delmere, Ragnar, Chai Li, uh, Godfrey, Tisha Ellis, and uh, Tabitha as well, who came in at the end just in the... Uh, Temple of Lathander, and uh, they made it all the way to the end and defeated the Dark God. So that's it for Eye of the Beholder. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I'll see you all again soon for more playthroughs.